Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Stephanie. I'm calling you from American Benefits on a recorded line. How are you doing today? Fine. Based on our records, you may qualify for the state-regulated final expense insurance plan. That's going to cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expenses. Sure. Now, are you between the ages of 40 and 80? I am. That's awesome. What the hell? Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes. I'm all right. My name is Robin. I'm a licensed insurance coordinator for Final Expense Insurance. How are you doing today? Fine, fine, Robert. How are you? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Before we continue, I want to let you know who am I and what we can do. I'm a licensed insurance coordinator for Final Expense Insurance Policy, which is designed to cover funeral and burial expenses. Okay. So we're going to help you to increase your benefits and savings. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And how old are you? What is your age? I'm 69. 69, okay. And let me ask you, do you have any major health issues now, like cancer, heart attack, or COPD? No, I don't have those. Okay. And you make your own health care decisions. Uh-huh. That's correct. And financially mm -hmm. decisions as well. Okay. And you got social security benefits each month. It is correct. Uh, I get those. Okay. And uh, may I ask, do you have any major health issues now? Cancer, heart attack, or COPD? I answered that. I, I said I don't have those. Any of those, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol? No. Mm -hmm. D kidney dialysis, heart attack, congestive heart failure? No. COPD? No, no. Asthma? Asthma? Oh, What's okay. an asthma? I never heard of that. Asthma is uh, like a, a breathing uh, problem. A, you know? a breathing problem. Okay, I don't have an asthma. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, and uh, can I ask you, uh, what states are you licensed in? Yes, uh, we have uh, different uh, states, like t uh, almost 20 states of licensing. And now I'm in Florida. Oh, you're in Florida. Florida. Okay. Uh, we work in exactly yes sir so we're gonna work with uh different states but i do have a approved in license in almost 20 states uh -huh. are you licensed in illinois uh illinois exactly mm -hmm. okay my license number is 5389281 extension id 221 my name is robin hawkins okay it's my problem Middle initial is same, S, S, S in same. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Okay, so let me ask you, uh, uh, do you smoke or you don't? Only, uh, I used to. You used to? I used to. Okay. And may I ask you, uh, how tall are you and how much you weight? Yeah, I'm six foot five, 250 pounds. You said you're six five? Correct. It's too much. What, okay. do, you mean, what do you mean too much? And too much on the height? I've never heard of that. I've, I got uh, term life insurance without a problem at that height you got term life insurance term correct oh okay and how much you weight it said 250 pounds okay you sure you're a real insurance licensed agent i've never heard of somebody saying being six foot five is too much 
Oh, no. Uh, but mostly people uh, got uh five two five four five five but you say six five wait if you're um, a woman yeah, if a you're good. a woman five four five five men are generally taller yeah, in this country like usually five nine and up some men are under five nine but most men are five nine and up you're really not from america i can I tell know that um, yeah, you're not from. Yeah. I know that, but people. No, you uh, don't. Uh, in, no, you don't. Um, talking uh, about a uh, gentleman. So you said you're in. Uh, are you in Florida? Oh yes. I'm yeah. In okay. Florida now. Listen carefully to my question. What is the capital of mm -hmm. Florida? What is the capital of Florida? Answer it quick without looking it up. I'm in. Oh, You're, it's not a very, very big question. You can't answer it without looking it up. You are a scamming piece of shit. You're a Ben Chode. Come on, repeat after me. I'm not. Okay, if you're if you're not. Hello. I have answer, but I, I don't give you. You don't Why give. You don't give you? me. I don't know. Because you had to look it up, you fool. If you were really from Florida, you'd know the capital of Florida. I know that, but I don't give you. You don't I, give me. You don't get. You're, I don't want to. You're stupid. You're a fucking stupid fool. Yeah. Hi. This is Michael. How are you doing today? Doing good so far. Uh, pretty good. Uh, what's going on, Mike? Uh, good to hear that. Well, if you do remember, I already spoke to you last week, but at that time, you were a little bit busy. Do you remember that? About what? Okay. Well, I can give you a short recap about this call. As you know, this call is about state regulated final expense program that has been approved in your state. Actually, sir, your state dropped down this plan for the people who are on a low income fixed income like social security or any kind of disability. So are you still residing in this content right now? Yeah, what address do you got so I can verify if it's the right one? Because I've moved around quite a bit in the last couple of years. I still live in Wisconsin, but I m might not be at the same address. Uh, I'm sorry? What address do you have for me? Because I, I moved around a few times. I might not be at the same address. Oh, you want to, like, uh, moving? Uh, you you want to move from? Wisconsin? No, I want I want to know what you have as my address in your uh, in your uh, paperwork. What do you no, show? No, listen. Uh, what do you show? Like, uh, did you, you know what? Like, uh, the thing is that when I lost them, told, like, uh, when I, when I spoke with you last week and you will told me that you are residing in Wisconsin, I don't have your address. I don't have your information. That's why I'm saying, you know what? I'm a state person and work for state. And my job is just to confirm letter details and connect your call to the state license agent. So may I know what's your age? How old are you? I'm 102. Uh, you are 102? Yeah. I'm just sorry you are not qualified. Have a good day. Why'd you call then? Hi, this is Daniel Andre with Senior Care. How are you today? Good, Daniel. How about you? What kind of senior care are you selling? It's whole life insurance. It's all about whole life insurance, okay? Final expense program. It's taking cover of your funeral, burial, cremation expenses, and it will never, this, uh, you know, expire on you, and the rates will never go up regardless of your age or health condition. Mm -hmm. And right now, for qualifying purpose, may I ask, how old are you? I'm uh, 79. 79? That is correct. Okay. And at this stage, do you make your own financial decision? I think so. Okay. And right now I can see you currently residing in a beautiful sky, Wisconsin, right? 
That is correct. It is Wisconsin. Okay, may I have your zip code over there? 53218. 53218. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And a lot of people use this coverage for three basic reasons. One for burial, two for cremation, three to leave something behind for the family. So what do you believe in? What do I believe in? Yes. What do you want to do with the money? Oh, I want to leave it to uh, my friends in New Delhi. You, you want to leave it for friends? Yeah, a friend that lives in New Delhi. Really? That is correct. I think he lives right down the street from where your office is. Hi, this is Nari Wilson. I'm calling from the Health Insurance Medicaid Department. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I would like to inform you that this call is being recorded. The reason why we are trying to reach you is just to make sure did you receive the new Medicaid card with the golden shape on it? Or are you still using the old one? I'm still using the old color? one. I'm still using the old one. Oh. I never I never received a new one. What new one are you talking about? I never heard of a new one. All right. Am I speaking with the right person? Could you verify our first and last name? Well, tell me what my first name is, and I'll let you know if it is the right person. There's three of us that live at this address. <laughs> Could you please verify our first and last name? Well, my name's George Smith. And your last name? George Smith. Smith, yep. Uh, I'm, are, you, uh, are you sure? I'm Larry's cousin. All right. As, sir, the reason why we are trying to reach you is just to confirm that you received the new Medicaid card. As you told me, you haven't. So the Medicaid no. card that you have is updated, and we are replacing that card and providing you the new Medicaid card okay, that what, has a golden chip on it. What address do you got me at? So we can verify that. Yeah, Evansville. Yeah. Uh, yeah I wanted to make sure you yeah, had the right address. Started. Yeah, we all live. Uh, three of us Five. live here. I wanted to make sure you had the right Five. one for my name. Five three five three six. That is correct. Yeah. All right. Sir, the Medicaid card you have is updated and we are replacing that card and providing you the new Medicaid card with a golden chip on it so you can easily use that card at any drugstore and CVS pharmacy. And you will be getting 10 person points at that time, all right? So mm -hmm. I'm filling your form here for the new Medicaid card. Could you verify our date of birth, your happy birthday? Yeah, it's 5-25-1955. All right. Um, John Smith, we are activating the Medicare benefits on your new Medicare card. You'll be getting Medicare benefits such as dental, hearing, vision, prescription drugs, over the counter medicine. I never heard of that. Benefits. When did that start? Medicare, Medicare A and B doesn't offer uh, vision and hearing. When did that all start? This is, these are added on 2024. This year. Oh, I, I got right. I got the booklet in the mail at the first of the year, and there was nothing in there about that. They said you got to get on an advantage plan yet. And other benefits are like gym benefits, grocery benefits, and up to six hundred dollar monthly cash back for the next month. All right. So what well, is that? Sounds like, name her that last sounds name? like an advantage plan. Are you are you an insurance company? As I told you, I'm calling you from the Health Insurance Medicare Department. The what? Fucking scamming piece of shit.